in this video i'm going to show you how to create the superhuman lightning effect using photoshop so let's get started hey what's up guys Druid here and as you can see this is the final output now of course it was inspired by movie thor ragnarok i also tried adding in the text and making it full-on poster doesn't look that great i think this one uh, alone looks a lot better now to create this effect let's go to file and open up the photo this is the photo open it now uh, first thing you notice the shoulders are not aligned we have to fix it and it's super easy just go to your filter and then go to liquify in the liquify make sure your brush is super big and you have selected the first tool the numbers are here you can copy them then try to drag it up slowly looks pretty good then hit ok so now if i press ctrl z you see the posture looks a lot more powerful uh, now we also have to remove the background but before we do that let's apply some color correction and to do that first of all double click on your layer and unlock it after that turn it into a smart object so right click and select convert to smart object and after that go to image adjustment and then select shadows and highlights here we will try to bring out as much detail as possible so first of all in the shadows add in 16 and in the tone and radius both keep 50 so okay now let's look at the highlights here it's going to be 46 uh, so as you can see now we have a lot more details but in the tone it's gonna be 80 and another 80 now the red tone is way too stronger so we're gonna remove it in the adjustment uh, let's go and make it minus 16 uh, and also in the mid tones uh, i'm gonna keep it somewhere around like three points as you can see now we have a lot more details then hit ok now let's remove the background and for that select your quick selection tool right click quick selection tool and make selection of the model Once your selection is ready, go and click on the layer mask icon so the background is gone and now we will apply a black background and to do that, create new blank layer by clicking on this icon and on this blank layer, select your uh, paint bucket tool, right click and paint bucket and in the color here, make sure you have black color and fill it. After that, take this layer and put it under your model. Now if I zoom in, the edges, they don't look that great. To fix that, click on the layer mask, then right click and select and mask. In old versions, click on refine edge option. It's the same thing. Uh, so first of all, I need to make things a little bit smoother. So I'm gonna keep it like 10, 15 pixels. And after that, I'm gonna increase my feather a little bit. So the edges are really soft. And then I'm gonna increase the contrast. And then go to my shift edge and remove it a little bit. 25% is good, then hit OK. After that, we have to do it again. So right click and select in mask, but this time make sure you select your second tool from here, refine brush, and then paint along the hair and then beard. looks good then hit ok now before we do anything let's create a backup and for that press ctrl j so we have layer 0 copy and put it under your layer 1 and forget about it in case we screw up something here we have something to work on so now activate your layer 0 and then right click on your layer here and select rasterize layer and after that click on the layer mask then right click on your layer mask and select apply layer mask so we only and only have the model Everything is simple at the moment. We have model on layer 0 and we have background on layer 1. Okay, basic setup. Now click on your layer 0 and apply layer mask. So click here and apply the mask. After that, select your brush tool. And in the brush, make sure your color here is total black. And of course, make sure your <laughs> brush is a regular round brush. And hardness is like 70-80%. Uh, 80 is fine and make your brush smaller using your bracket keys then zoom in and erase the eyes like this
at the moment it looks really creepy i know uh, but let's fix that up uh, to do that we have to create a new layer so click on this uh, second last icon we have blank layer and rename it to white eyes take this and put it under your layer zero then make sure your brush tool is still active and this time select white color and again make sure that you are painting on white eyes layer and then paint with white color so now we have basic setup for eyes ready now let's create the background and for that we need a smoke brush so select your brush tool and create new blank layer so click here and rename it to smoke after that go to your brush options here and then go and select your smoke brush so for this one i'm gonna select uh, this third one uh, now when you click make sure you click on the edge all the way here so we can take full advantage of the brush so do a click and as you can see we have really cool smoke after that we have to apply a layer mask on the smoke so click on layer mask and after that we have to apply a gradient on the mask yes so click on your paint bucket right click and select your gradient tool and in the gradient go here and make sure you have standard black and white gradient hit ok and here make sure you have the first option then uh, click here and drag all the way up to here and release it and it will fade out the smoke real nice you might have to do it couple of times so do it again and again so i think this looks really nice and after that i'm gonna apply some colors on the smoke so click on the smoke make sure you activate it first then go to image edges paint and hue saturation in the hue saturation click on the colorize option and then decrease the lightness a little bit and increase your saturation and then change it to some really nice cyanish color i think this looks nice and let's decrease the lightness maybe a bit and the saturation looks amazing hit ok smoke is ready and now i'm gonna apply some stars in this empty area for that go to file and select place embedded select the stars place them uh, and then I'm gonna hold my shift key and make the stars a little bit bigger this kind of looks good confirm it uh, and then again I'm gonna apply layer mask on the stars as well so apply the layer mask and make sure your gradient is still active now this time instead of going from bottom to up we will go to uh, from up to bottom like this and it will also fade out stars real nice and once your stars are ready go to your opacity and make it like 50 or 60 percent until it looks the way you want so 65 at the moment looks really nice so the background is kind of ready and now i'm gonna apply some outer glow on the model uh, for that make sure you activate your layer zero then create new blank layer and then rename it to outer glow now for outer glow i'm going to use a different shade of blue uh, so go to the color options here in the code it's 2a7 8cd so we have this really nice blue shade hit ok and we need selection of the model so we don't end up painting outside for that hold your control key and click on the model thumbnail then select your brush tool but in the brush one make sure you have soft round brush and hardness is zero percent make sure it's a little bit smaller and then you start painting it around like this now let's remove the selection for that go to select and deselect now go to blending mode of your outer glow and change it to linear dodge add so we have this really nice blue glow and because of this glow now i know that the color of background smoke is also different so we need to fix that I think this one looks much better then hit ok now let's add some smoke in the foreground so it doesn't look very empty for that activate your outer glow and create new blank layer on top of that and rename it to foreground snow now make sure your brush tool is active then go to your brush options and select this last smoke brush and then make sure it is the same size as your canvas and do a single click uh, I think this is little too much so i'm gonna go to my color and make it a bit desaturated and also i'm gonna click from the bottom 
I think this one looks better, but we also need to reduce the opacity. So go to your opacity and make it like 60, 70%. 71 looks nice, blends in even more. Now comes the best part of tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to create those glowing eyes. It's actually super easy. Just create new blank layer and rename it to glow eyes. Then go and select your paint bucket tool, right click, paint bucket, and in the color, make sure you have black color and fill it. Then go to your filter, render, and then select lens flare. In the lens flare, select third one, uh, 105 and put it in the center all the way here and reduce the brightness a little bit. Uh, this looks nice, hit OK. After that we need to blur it a little bit. Uh, go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. In the Gaussian blur I'm gonna blur it until all the sharp lines are gone. Uh, so somewhere around this one looks good, hit OK. Then go to your blending options and change it to screen. Then select your move tool and put this glow all the way here. Now at the moment it's little difficult to see, I know, but let's add in some color. So go to image, adjustment, use saturation, click on colorize uh, and then increase the saturation a little bit. See now it's visible and change its uh, color until it matches the rest of photo. I think this looks good, hit OK. Uh, we also have to make it a little bit smaller. Now duplicate this layer, so press Ctrl J, so make sure your move tool is active and place it on another eye. Uh, now let's add in the lightning, it's also really easy, just create new layer and rename it to lightning, uh, better name it thunder. Now take this thunder layer and put it under your glowing eyes, there's a reason for that I will explain later. Uh, so make sure your thunder layer is here then select your brush tool and in the brush go and select any thunder brush that you like uh, so i think uh, this one looks really cool this one is also really nice so i'm gonna select this one now we need to rotate the brush and for that you can go here and rotate from here but it's not that convenient so click on this little box here and then rotate it so i think here this looks awesome now before you do any clicks, make sure that color here is totally white. Uh, so I'm gonna hit OK. Now let's do a click. So we have this really nice thunder. Now let's apply some glow on it. For that, right click and select blending options and then click on outer glow. So we have this really nice blue glow. If you want the exact color code, I'm gonna click here. Uh, it's 107 FF4, then hit OK. Opacity 100, blend mode screen, uh, spread is 0, size is 35, but it will depend on your document. Uh, this looks nice, hit OK. Now I'm also gonna apply another thunder on right eye. Uh, and I don't want lightning on the top, I only want this single one. So I'm gonna select my eraser tool uh, and make sure I have nice round eraser. Uh, maybe a little bit harder one and then I'm gonna erase the rest of portion. So we have really nice uh, lightning coming out of eyes. We also need to apply some in the foreground so it doesn't look empty. Looking pretty good. Now we have to apply some lightning that goes behind the model and for that we have to create a layer behind the model. <laughs> So activate your stars layer and create new blank layer and this time rename it to and again select any of the crazy brush that you like. Uh, for background I think uh, this one will do or any brush will do. Now we also have to apply the glow effect on this thunder as well. For that just activate your first one, right click and select copy layer style, then activate the back one, then right click and select paste layer style. So you have the same glow, but I'm gonna reduce its opacity so it's more faded. Uh, in the opacity, go and directly make it like 50% so it doesn't come in the way. Uh, so this looks all right. Now we have to apply the main layer that will blend all of this together and that is selective colors. And for that, activate your thunder layer on the top, then create new adjustment layer and select selective color 
Now this is the reason uh, Thunder was under both of this because I don't want any color correction on my glowing eyes. Now on the selective colors, first of all, make sure you are in your reds and in the red cyan, make it all the way 100%. Then in the magenta, make it minus 14. Go to your yellow and make it minus 8. And in the black, make it minus 2. After that, go to your yellows and here uh, make the cyan 47 and then go to your neutrals all the way here neutrals first of all go to your cyan and make it 15 then go to your yellows and make it all the way minus 26 and then go to your blacks and make it plus 5 after that go to your blacks here first of all in the cyan make it plus 40 and then in the yellow go and make it minus 5 and then close it after that go to opacity of your selective color and make it like 70-80% so the 80 looks good and we are almost done now let's do the final step and for that activate your top layer then create new blank layer after that press ctrl alt shift and e so it will basically create a jpg inside your document this is exactly what we want after that uh, go to filter blur and then select motion blur in the motion blur make sure that your angle is 90% total straight and in the distance first keep it 35 hit ok now if you want more you can simply press ctrl alt f and in old version press ctrl f you can apply it again this looks pretty cool but I don't want any blur on facial features so let's apply layer mask I'm gonna click on the mask then select your brush tool in the brush make sure you have really soft and round brush and erase it from the face like this uh, make sure you have black color as well so I'm gonna go and erase it from here and now as you can see image has little bit of motion and all the thunder and smoke it blends in even better uh, so the final effect is ready this is it now let's apply the logo and finish the project I'm gonna go to file and select place embedded uh, select this Thor logo and place it and that's pretty much it let's close this one and let's put it on full screen mode and this is the final output that we created using Photoshop so I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions ask me in comment section below if you want to check out more videos by me you can click on any of these boxes also you can subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get the update till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop